Hello, beautiful souls. I hope you're doing very well. I've switched my <laughs> home around in the last uh, few hours. So you have a different background. I have this beautiful painting I wanted to show you. Beautiful whale. Um, love the energies, the Savian energies coming with it. So as you can see, I have a mark on my face. Um, this is partially why I haven't made lots of uh, videos lately. Um, since about three months, I've been working also part-time on top of my business and all of different aspects of my business, which is obviously one-on-one -on -one sessions online and in person, group healing sessions, and then all of the computer, uh, social media, my website, everything else. So I've been very busy, probably too much. So the universe sent me this accident I had three weeks ago. So I went hiking. Um, I've been hiking uh, most of my adult life. I started when I was 24 or 25 years old. So it's been a long time since I started. Uh, so it's not a new activity for me. The mountain is not new to me either, but I had a vertigo episode while I was hiking and I was surrounded of those big, huge rocks. I tried to sit up on a rock and rebalance myself, but I passed out and fell directly on my nose. Uh, so I have like a few scars still, but most of my face is a lot better than it was uh, the first week uh, I had black eyes um, and I was really swollen so it was really not the best I never had a concussion before so for those that have never had the experience you cannot read you cannot really stand up or walk you are bed resting for about a week to 10 days depending of the severity of your concussion and Mia has it um, been now, it's been probably three weeks now and I do feel a lot better. But for the first couple of weeks, I've had to learn to ask for help to get groceries. Uh, I ordered prepared food because I could not cook. Um, and I had to ask for things to support me as I never was very sick like this. And I live on my own. so. It's more challenging than when you live with someone that can support you directly. Um, so yeah, a lot of challenges in the last few weeks with that. I am all back. I'm very glad to be here. And um, during the accident, I actually saw beautiful beings that came to see me, probably telling me, well, we're going to help you heal. You have messages that you haven't heard yet. Um, and you need to go back to earth. You have a big mission coming up. So, um, I saw those beautiful beings. The one that was closest to me had this, um, had peace, you know, what like mother Theresa had, um, and then they were wearing white and they were three. Um, and then, uh, the messages that I got was, Stop trying to be strong all the time, which is something from my whole lifetime. Um, and choose people that actually are aligned with your soul's vibration around you. So um, I've been making a lot of changes. Some A lot of you know that I'm not living in my home country since a few years now. I um, I've stepped away from being in my contact with my family as well for a few years. Um, and I've started my own spiritual business after having an awakening and uh, very strong in 20, um, 2015. So the whole part of me being always open to spirituality always been there, but like me really actually embodying the teaching has been quite challenging for a lot of different reasons. Um, I now am a truth seeker, I always been, but it's a lot more present in my life. I love to learn. I love to do many different type of things. And, uh, sometimes I take too much on, you know, I tend to learn very fast to do a lot of different things. So for my website, although I didn't know I had somebody helping me building the, the basic and then and then the membership that I had and then and then I learned to do all of the different things on my own 
Uh, so, you know, even if you're seeing me now here, but the, the editing is me that does it. And I know I'm not the only one that has a spiritual business and do everything on our own. But um, at some point, I think we have to refocus. Where do I want to put my energy now? And my energy, I wanted to put it with you. And those videos, my YouTube channel, my social media, I was like, yeah, I am having you know, a bit of posts that I'm doing and I'm connecting with a little bit with my tribe, but not as much as I would like. So uh, reassessing all of the tasks in my life and also putting a lot more time um, that will be fixed for fun activities. For those that uh, follow me, you know, I love dancing. Um, I took lessons in the past, but I really love, that's one of the activities that I do where I don't think about anything else than whatever I'm actually doing at the moment. Painting also is something that I really love. So I'm going to set time in my schedule to do that instead of having back-to-back -back appointments and work on this and that and, you know, my website, the recording, the editing, everything else. So it's um, very interesting to see that this very... Uh, big accident because I don't know if I would have been on my own if I would be able to do this video today so it's been very emotional the first week just to recognize I could have died on that mountain that um, you know it was divinely guided that I was with someone but also there is a lot that has been shaken inside of me and making me um, put time into reflecting on my life and all of the different aspects and of course when you have to ask for help because you can't do anything on your own and you're not in your home country you have to ask um, and it was from medical support uh, after having a CD scan to to read the report and get me like some follow-up on that uh, you know as I said the food um, the groceries um, and my dog has been very helpful and being very patient with me and uh, I could not really walk her for a couple of weeks but she's been by my side my rock as usual and I'm very grateful for her um, but I've been very surprised that the people that I thought were gonna be supporting me were actually not supporting me and people that I almost did not know that could have met me maybe a couple of weeks ago three three months ago, um, actually were checking on me, messaging me, calling me, making sure that I was okay. Some people gave me fruits and, and things to try to help with my wounds in my face. And it was just very interesting to see, you know, Mexican people um, have a very big open heart. And I'm not saying that all of us that are not from Mexico don't have a big heart, but the society here is that if there is someone around you that is not feeling well, you have to help them. Um, my landlord here has helped me with groceries and doing things once I was feeling a little better too. So it's been very interesting that a lot of Mexican people actually have been mostly my support. And I had beautiful healers. Um, because when you're in that field, that's the people that you surround yourself with um, that have helped me with energy work, with different types of therapies, energetic therapies. And it's been very, very supportive. I know that I'm feeling a lot better for all of your support. So thank you from my, the bottom of my heart in any way that you have supported me in the past weeks. Um, also, I invite you to not wait until an accident like this happened to you to review your life. Do your relationship make you feel seen, heard, and loved and supported? Do you feel there's a match of energy and do you feel it's balanced? Do you give as much as you receive in that relationship? Can you be yourself in your relationships? Um, if you look at your work, I know I have a past of being a workaholic and I was going back into that same mode again. Um, even if it's a spiritual journey in a spiritual business. So what are the things that you could maybe give to someone else to do to support you? Is there anything that you could maybe invite into your work environment so that you feel that you are more balanced um, between having fun and being productive 
and yes earning money but also like having beautiful activities that fill your heart of all of this love that you need to have this balance within you i invite you to connect with your heart and your team if you are open to channel your messages from within um how balanced is your life right now do you need more time alone do you need more time in nature do you need more time to do exercises that you've been maybe putting aside for a while i know i want to go back into yoga more so i'm gonna set time aside for that on top of the dancing and the arts so what it is for you so that you feel that all of the compartments that you need to actually feel balanced because that's what happens right when we overwork in one area of our life whether it's relationship or business or whatever it is um that creates a ripple effect where we have less energy for all of the other spheres in our life so how can you bring back balance and um i think it's a very important thing for this theme of this month the month of september is a very watery emotional month and a lot of us uh, have had a lot of big big intense emotions to go through a lot of the past is coming back back also for us to look at from a different perspective but also to let go um if you want to move into the fifth dimension and higher we there's so much baggage we need to let go of so much baggage that is in our dna in our memory in our um in our body so all of those techniques whatever if it's breath work yoga exercising swimming being in contact with the elements meditation whatever is really something that's aligned with you what can you do to release those emotions and if you see them coming up i know sometimes that they come up and we're not in this space where we actually can hold our inner child very much because the place is not exactly the best place to do that for example at work with other colleagues around or if you're in a dinner with other people and it's not the right time but go back to how you felt reconnect with that feeling because there's a message for you there and make yourself available to your inner child the inner child wants to what i'm being shown right now is like we have all of those coats and very heavy stuff on our shoulder and your inner child is ready to lift them but for that to be able to happen you need to be in presence full presence with your inner child and allow this inner child to show you what's been going on and show you what you're ready to release and what you can invite instead the loving relationship that you desire the beautiful aligned business that you want the level of abundance of love money and ease and peace and pleasure that you actually want to experience so just allow yourself to open your heart to let go of all of the intensity that might be going on inside of you and remember that all of us spiritual people are around you we can support you i have one on one sessions i have from um 10 $11 for like the smallest amount to have one beautiful light language healing where i sing and i share beautiful um thoughts and i connect with you very deeply per month so that's one of the lowest pricing to this beautiful twice a month membership that you can have over 42 healing sessions that you can redo in your own time whenever you want and two lives with me per month with this he these healing sessions as well and i have so many other offerings for those that want to open their channels i'm actually doing a little later than you, than i was expecting my channeling course it's been now 3 4 times i'm doing it the next one will be in november uh, so there's so much that if you want to connect with your heart and heal what's been very heavy for you you have access to beautiful support through that now i can easily understand what you're going through because i've been through so much and i'm facing my own fears i'm facing my own limitations and obstacles and i want to show you that 
don't be afraid to look at your limitations that are in your mind and whatever is coming up for you because that's when we look at those that we can release them if we put our head in the sand and we say like no 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 i don't have this issue it kind of grows into something bigger than it should so if you want any support i'm here i'm happy to be back and i look forward to connecting with you all very soon bye